What's going on everybody? It's Bob Loud and if you're here for electricity, well, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple little electrical current system here. Like what I have here, this is for dummies, okay? So anybody could do this. Basically, you're going to have a system somewhat set up like this. What these things are right here are root combiners. They combine two electrical currents into one so that you can input that power onto the next. Same thing with here connected to here connected to here because you can't have two cables connected to the exact same output or input so that's what these bad boys are for at least when you're doing electrical then I have one of these this is a switch a switch is connected to the out power output because in this electrical system that I have going right here these solar panels are going to the battery so they're generating power from the sun and you want to make sure that these are on top of your roof not right here because when it becomes a little darker they might cast a shadow over these and they won't provide the much the power that they usually would provide and so basically you want a battery doesn't matter if it's small medium or large the battery is going to take the power from these and store it and then that power when it becomes nighttime and these don't work these solar panels this would actually give you the ability to have electricity even when it's nighttime so when you take the power output from the battery which in this case the max outputs a hundred you take it and you power it into a switch the reason you power it into a switch, well, if you want these turns to power off so that you can get inside of them, then you would need to have it onto a switch. Now, you would need electrical branches. What these are, these, you can sit there and press E or whatever button is your interact button, and this is how much power it would branch off. So, for instance, instance, these turrets use 10 so on these electrical branches it's 10 so while there's a hundred power going through only 10 of its coming out of here and 10 of its coming out of here because these both are set to 10 just for these but you can have as many as you want up to 9 because for some reason it likes to use one power over I don't know why but that's how it is all with all the electrical systems so in all reality you won't be able to use 10 turrets because 10 turrets would mean 10 power and so you would only be able to use 9 turrets which would give you 91 because there's always one active use setting up a turret system is just pretty easy like that if you listen to how I explain everything you might be confused and if you're confused please let me know down in the comments I will gladly answer each one of your questions but that's just a simple little turret setup let me set it up right here so we take our battery we place it anywhere it could be a large battery could be a small battery in this case we have a large battery what we're then going to do is place a solar panel. Typically, you want it on top of your roof because of the sun. Boom. You place it down. Now, there's electrical output. You want to make sure that you have a wiring tool, which is this right here. It looks like a snake almost, but it's black or grade color, dark gray. It's known as a wiring tool, and this is so that you can make connections through here. Now, if you have one solar panel connected to a small battery, the different batteries have different storage amounts. So like this one has the most 24,000 and then medium battery has a little less and then the small battery has even less. So let's say we have two of these connected. Because if you just have one you can connect it straight through here. Connected straight to the power end to give this power. But I don't want to do that. I want two of these. So for the fact that I want two of these you can't connect two solar panels or two wires to the exact same thing it just won't let you do it I accidentally connected on the floor over there but it wasn't won't connect to the battery so what you need is a root combiner what this is going to do is have two different power places that you can pull from and put these two power together so that you can connect them and so if you even have more you can obviously add more 
depending on how many solar panels or different types of power things that you use. Preferably windmills are the best when using auto turns if you got a lot of them. And so once you combine those all together, in order to get power out to your auto turrets, like right here, I want to power, let's say, this auto turret. In order to power this auto turret, let's see, max output's 100. Right now, there's only 200 capacity in it of charge. So we're going to go power in from the power out here, because that means the power's coming out and the power's coming in here. And so this is set to a two which means that's how much power is getting relayed through here so we want to set that to 10 because turrets are set to 10 and so what that means is that if we connect this turret to this power right here it would be branch out that's how much power is branching out it would turn on like so and then in order to have more turrets, you would connect the power out here. One second. This power out right here, you would connect it to the bottom of this power in. And then the same thing. You would enter 10 right here for another turret. And then you would branch off that 10 to another turret. And then if you want another electrical branch or another turret, boom. You do the same thing and keep it going. But you want to make sure that this battery can only hold nine turrets at a time. So if you have different turrets, you can set them up and then have different batteries. And then voila. That's electricity for some dummies. Honestly, if you follow what I do in this video, you'll have no problem making some. Maybe this is the right way to do it. Maybe it's not. I don't know. There's all kinds of different people that say different things. And this is just what I found to be easiest. So if you did find this useful, please make sure to smash that like button. Comment down below. And subscribe if you're new. Anyways, guys, this is Bob Loud. Out.